Hey guys, if you want to four here, and today we are doing a video that I have been waiting to do for a little bit, and I'm assuming you're hearing it now, it's the Pixel XL. We're going to see how it holds up in 2020. So, let's get started. All right, so here is the phone. Let's start abusing it. So uh, I installed Twitter and Discord on it just because I can. Now let's do some Geekbench, I guess. Alright, let's see how this turns out. And we're back. These benchmark results are bad. I know benchmark is not the best way to test phone abilities, but 950, 310, not even a thousand. I, I kind of expected more. I don't know why, but I did. Also, I wonder if I can show you this on camera. If you look right down there, there's a light burning from the navigation bar. Probably really hard to see on camera, but it's there. It's not that visible, but it's there. That's for sure. All right, now let's abuse it. Let's see if it can run Fortnite. I never really actually play Fortnite, but one thing's for sure, it could barely run on my pixel i mean not my pixel my note 9 and that phone was came out with fortnite as a sponsor of it so if that can't run it then what can besides a high-end gaming pc what's this thing even running i think it's like a snapdragon 8 25 or something like that The game is launching. Off to an okay start. I don't want to go away. I don't want to look at cutscenes. Wow, look at that. Go away. Let's just let it auto fire. Oh, I forgot they added the Mandalorian. Alright. Let's just join. Battle Lab. Except, except, except. This thing is not running well. Okay, there we go. Launch. Now, I wanted 
advantage of gaming on this phone is there is no camera bump, which means you can just hold it like this with a big, just flat on the back. But it is an old phone, and you probably shouldn't be gaming on it. And these are some low-res graphics, that's for sure. Frame drops. Oh jeez, that looks terrible. I mean, I know Fortnite is kind of like a high-end game. I'm surprised you see anyone who's running on this. I thought the haptics aren't bad. They just kind of sound annoying, though. It's running just as good as it was on my Note 9, except maybe a little worse. Look at those polys. Jeez. It's surprisingly not warm though. And considering it's a 2016 phone, the battery is not doing too bad so far. Ooh, fun, we're driving now. Let's go drive this into the lake. Oh, great. Turn the radio off, turn the radio off. Oh my gosh, listen to those vibrations. It's so loud. I mean, it's running surprisingly well for a 2016 phone. A pixel of all 2016 phones, too. I mean, the graphics are pretty bad, but why am I in a garbage can now? Okay. That concludes the Fortnite test. Let's leave the match and turn off the game. I don't know why I installed Stadia on here. I, I guess I just did. Obviously, it can run Stadia. Okay, well, I guess it's time for the camera test now. Okay. I'm outside now. Uh, we're going to take some beautiful pictures of my backyard. Those are all the pictures I'm taking. Now we're actually gonna go out in public. The part I don't want to do. Alright, so we're in the woods now. Why? I have no idea. Let's uh, just take some photos in that case. Of that thing.
All right, I think I'm done here. I'm gonna go back home now. Meet you there. And I'm back at my room. Uh, that last bit of video you just watched was recorded like three hours ago. Um, but now I'm home and uh, here's the phone. It's at a uh, 53% battery. And there was a little bit of off camera stuff on this. Like I went to my grandma and grandpa's house after being in the woods at a park and uh, my cousin wanted to play Fortnite on this phone so he played that for like 20 minutes and uh, mostly the rest of the time it's just been sitting in my bag and uh, I'd say it's got a pretty good low power mode for being an idol but its battery is pretty degraded, so if you were using it as your daily driver, you would definitely want to get the battery replaced. And uh, the charging port is super finicky and weird. Like, you can't see it on camera, but most Type-C plugs don't want to fit in it right. And then it just takes forever to try and get it in the right spot that's charging. And since its battery is so degraded, it takes like an hour to fully charge and probably take similar to that if it wasn't degraded but still um so yeah I guess I'll just put those pictures up now over here somewhere I don't know what I'm doing so overall Actually, I wonder if I can just show them on video. So, let's see. So, uh, we got this picture of mm, the place that outside and uh, clouds. I'll post a link to a Google Photos album probably I'll, I'll post a link to something in the description to get look at these photos yourself there's grass I don't know why I took a picture of grass these actually look a bit better on the phone itself it's just recording through the front facing camera on a pixel 3 here's a bridge jeez this I don't know yeah I think I'm gonna definitely have to somewhere around here because that is not doing them any justice so should you use this as your daily driver in 2020 does it hold up in 2020 yes but actually no it is still a pretty decent phone it does have Shonk bezels though. Uh, if you wanted to play games, you could just use Stadia. That's Twitter. You could just use Stadia. Um, the haptics aren't very good. They're a bit weird feeling. It doesn't have squeeze to assist him, but neither do the new Pixel phones. So, yeah. Uh, no, this phone and messaging app don't actually work. There's no SIM card in here. But if you're going to buy one, I'd say watch out for burn-in because the navigation bar really likes burning in on these pixels. Like, it's so subtle. I don't know if you can see that on camera, really. I know I already tried showing it to you on camera, but it's kind of there. I don't know if you can just see the faint outline of the menu square. It's Geekbench scores aren't very good, but I don't know how much that really holds up. Like, shows the good of the phone. Fortnite, which is kind of high end, doesn't run very well. The FPS is not too bad, but the graphics, no. The screen looks good. I'd say you could definitely watch some nice YouTube on here.
and uh this is not a video i ever wanted to make but for speakers are not bad I'll do like a speaker test, I guess. Just find some non-copyright music. It's a pretty nice sized phone, I mean. Here's my hand, which is uh, I don't know why I was comparing it like that. Here's me um, holding. What is something that people usually hold that I could show a comparison with? I'll be right back. I give up on that. Ruler. Phone. Six inches tall. Screen. is about five and a half inches. 16 by nine aspect ratio. I think our Wi-Fi just crashed. Um, no it didn't, it's fine. Um, so let's just uh, do my classic song that I always use for these videos. Half volume. And max volume. Now, uh, it's just two bottom firing speakers. Now, this phone is pretty thin. Yeah, they ain't bad. But then I think compared to the stereo speakers of the new ones, and just so you know, I'm recording this on a Pixel 3, if it looks weird at all. I've been recording this whole video on a Pixel 3, because I switched to Pixel. Okay, well that's that's all about that's about all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.